Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a very short video that attempts to answer a very simple question. How much electricity do our 3D printers use and what impact can we expect it to have on our electric bill? Now to answer this question, we're going to be using two pieces of equipment. The first is an inexpensive, readily available power monitoring device that I purchased on Amazon. The second is my original Prusa i3 MK2 3D printer. The four scenarios we're going to be testing is first, testing the machine at idle, simply plugged in and turned on. Second, we'll be printing with the hot end at 210 degrees and the heat bed turned off. Then we'll test the hot end at 210 degrees with the heat bed at 55 degrees. And then we're going to run some numbers on some hypothetical worst case scenarios to see what the potential maximum electrical usage of this machine is. Now, all of these tests will be done assuming a full 24 hours of usage and prices will be calculated using my state's average kilowatt per hour price of 12 cents. In the first scenario, with our machine simply plugged in and turned on, we were using an average of 11 watts of electricity, which would translate to 3 cents per day or $12 per year. In our second scenario, printing with the hot end at 210 degrees and the heat bed turned off, we were using an average of 50 watts of electricity, which would translate to 14 cents per day or $53 per year. In our third scenario, with the hot end at 210 degrees and the heat bed at 55 degrees, we were using an average of 150 watts of electricity, which would translate to 43 cents per day or $150 per year. And last, in my tests, my machine was drawing a maximum of about 200 watts of electricity, which calculated at a full 24 hour period would cost us roughly 58 cents or $210 a year if the machine were to operate at full power for a full 365 days. Uh, some very brief closing thoughts on this video. I was kind of surprised at how inexpensive most of these machines seem to be to operate. I had seen quite a bit of speculation online, uh, particularly around machines that have heated beds, that some of the operating costs could be fairly high if you run them for long periods of time. And I think we clearly showed that that's not really the case. Uh, the electrical cost for most prints is going to be very, very minuscule. If you enjoyed this video or found this information useful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This channel focuses almost exclusively on 3D printing, and in the future, we're going to have filament reviews, product reviews, machine reviews, tips and tricks, and generally just any information related to 3D printing that I feel like making a video on. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the future. Thanks.